Bitcoin is at a distinct crossroads and it's getting ready to make its next move. Do not be surprised with this big move that Bitcoin is getting ready to make. Keep in mind, Bitcoin has had a rally all the way up to 73,000, showing extreme strength, causing the whole world to be captivated at the edge of their seats, waiting for Bitcoin's next move. But since we reached 73,000, we've come into some major problems. And Bitcoin has subsequently fallen all the way back down to 60,000 two times, leading the world to speculate. Is this crash or is this dump over or is something bigger under the covers brewing and waiting to explode and captivate the world in a different way. Take a look at this chart. Bitcoin has just recently entered into this top channel here, which doesn't happen very often. This is my favorite indicator of all time. Bitcoin reached a high on this indicator of almost 93. It's only been that high or higher three other times. The exact times were exactly at the market top in 2011, the market top in 2013, the market top in 2017. There was only one outlier one time that was not a market cycle top. It was this one right here, right before the real market cycle top. However, when we decode this chart right here, Bitcoin did the same exact move after each one of these times. The other times it reached this high or higher. And then we go to our next chart, the stochastic RSI on the monthly. And what we notice is we just had a stochastic RSI cross down. You can see it on your chart right here. The blue line is at the bottom and the red is on top. This is not good. When it's happened before and we've had a cross down, we had one cross right here and we followed that up the next month with a big red candle. We had a cross right here, February 17th. What happened after? A big red candle. How about this one right here? August 1st, 2017. We had a cross right here. What happened the following month? A big red candle. So is Bitcoin getting ready to print an even bigger, more red candle than right now for the month of April? Is this correction over or is something bigger brewing? Because Bitcoin does the same exact moves time and time again. We need to decode it. I need to give you the facts and the charts. You are going to leave with complete clarity on the direction for Bitcoin and what your strategy should be when you should buy more, when you should add to your position, and potentially when you should take profits. Breaking news, I'm dropping an altcoin trade alert that you can get right now. My trade alerts have made a lot of people a lot of money. We gave a trade alert on Coinbase at $60. It went from $60 and exploded to $280. We gave an alert on Meta at $110. It went from $110 and exploded all the way to $527. This time, the alert is on an altcoin. You guys have been begging me for altcoins. Wait to see what I'm about to show you in the charts. This could be absolutely explosive. Unlock this trade alert right now. Go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. And if you're on my email list already, it's sitting pretty in your inbox right now. Go watch it. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Unlock this trade alert right now. Let's get into it. We're Bitcoin US dollar index and we are on the monthly chart here, but we are going to start our journey on the two week chart. On this two week chart, we have my favorite indicator of all time down below. We used this indicator a little more than a month ago to really understand what Bitcoin was doing at the moment. We were near an all time high at above 73,000. The market was sitting pretty. Everybody was captivated with the moves of Bitcoin. Bitcoin had just had an enormous rally up, got above 73,000, and the high majority of people were looking at one price and one price only, $100,000 Bitcoin. But there was one problem. We were very overextended. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. Now, when you look at my indicator that I have here on the charts, it combines the three most powerful indicators to trade Bitcoin combined into one. It's, a, it's the three indicators that I use to trade. So I used those three indicators, made them have a baby, and this is their baby. This baby right here predicts the biggest moves of Bitcoin. When you get into this top area here, it's a good time to think about taking profits, right? This top area here 
has a market structure of about 83 and then obviously goes up to 100. Just like most indicators, it has a base of around zero and it goes to around 100. Now, with that said, you, when we're up near the top, you wanna think about taking profits and when we're near the bottom, you wanna think about buying. Case in point, when we have our bottom structure here from about 30 down into the zero area, when we entered that area, it happened to be the best possible time to ever buy Bitcoin at the absolute market cycle bottom. Fast forward to the next market cycle. When we reached our bottom, we were at this lowest pro point here in this famous indicator, my personal indicator, which I use to trade in and out of Bitcoin and all cryptos. You look at the next market cycle bottom is here. You look at the next one. It even got that COVID crash that threw everybody off and the most recent market bottom here. But we are up at this top channel. Again, this top channel is overbought. When we get up into this area, the overbought area, the high majority of people are buying Bitcoin. That's when Grandma Betty is going crazy. She's calling all of her two friends that are still left alive and she's telling them to buy Bitcoin. She's calling her grandson like you, telling them to buy. You don't wanna to listen to Grandma Betty. She's always been a little bit crazy. What you wanna look at are the facts in the charts. And when we get that overextended, Bitcoin has to have a moment to cool off. But the million dollar question is, has it done its cooling off already? Or is something bigger brewing? under the rug? That is the question we're gonna focus on today. In order to really illustrate that, we've gotta dig deep into the facts. So come on the journey with me. When we entered this top area here, you can see that we've only been in that area a handful of times. We talk about 2011 once, we talk about this 2013 two times, we talk about this market cycle two times, we talk about this market cycle two times. In other words, Every single market cycle so far, Bitcoin has entered this top area two times. The first time was before the market cycle top, case in point right here. We entered this before our top, and our second one was the top. Next cycle, we entered it right here before the market cycle top. The second time we entered was at the market cycle top. Fast forward to the next cycle. The first one we entered was right here, and the second one was actually the market cycle top. In other words, we have entered our first one here. We can assume, based on the facts that are in front of us, that this is not the market cycle top, it's the one right before. And when we enter this zone for the second time, we can say, based on the facts, that that will represent the market top, okay? So we're, we're at the first one, right? Anytime we entered this area, it was a wise place to take profits. But if you didn't, that's completely fine. The question is, do we still have further downside action? Because when you start breaking it down, you say, okay, we entered two times in every single cycle. The first one is not the market cycle top, and then the second one is, okay? So if we break down this one, this one and this one, we can start to understand those are all the first ones. And we're gonna base the first one on this first one that we're in currently, because when you look at it, Bitcoin does the same exact move after every single one. Case in point, 2013, our first uh, time entering this yellow zone, prior to the market cycle top, we went incredibly parabolic. We were still at the early stages of Bitcoin. There was a tremendous amount of momentum in the market and we turned and dipped all the way down into the 38 area, forming a very strategic market structure at that 38 level. You can see that structure played through all the way until 15, all the way until 2017, 2017 twice getting rejected at the market cycle bottom, played a key role back here and the COVID crash, it played key role in our market structure most recently and a key role in our most recent low. So that structure that we had formed when we fell right from our first time entering in that first cycle here, that structure played through for the next 10 years or 11 years, right? So what, what, what I want you to do is pay attention to that market structure. Now we go forward to the next one. When we entered in 2017, the first time that we entered in this whole market cycle was right here back in June 
2017. We just barely got our head into this yellow zone. This time we didn't crash all the way down to that 38 area. We just had a minor correction. Now keep in mind, in our previous video, we illustrated the candles and how this particular candle that just printed tells us a very distinct story. But now that we're here and we got into it, we had this correction about 30, 40%. That 30-40% correction brought us down to this structure, which is also a very key structure. This structure right here in July of 2017, if you rewind the clocks and you go back in time, it was also the exact pivot low of November 19, 2012. Okay, that same structure also played through into our following one, which was here, our high of May 2013. May 22nd, 2023. So when you look at the structure, there's these defined rules and these principles that Bitcoin is living by following the same patterns over and over and over again. Case in point, fast forward, next market cycle. The first time we entered this yellow zone was here at our 14K top. When everyone thought we were about to have a new all-time high, we were incredibly overextended. The market needed to rejuvenate it. The market needed to refresh itself. And this was another extreme example, such like the 2013 example, where we had a huge pullback, a huge drawdown, and a huge flush out and rejuvenate the market and ready for that next cycle. Keep in mind the 2017 one was rather short, rather sweet, 30 to 40 percent, not one of these 70 to 80 percent ones, right? So we have a couple examples on our screen. There's two ways to look at. It. Number one, 66 percent of the time that we entered this area when it wasn't the market cycle top, we had enormous corrections. I'm talking 70% plus. Case in point, 2013 and 2019. 33% of the time, or one time, we had this correction, which was a 30-40% correction entering the top. In other words, we've never entered this top here and not had at least a 30 to 40% correction. It's never happened. So we are here so far. Have we had a 30 or 40% correction so far, we've gone from 73 down here into the 60 area two times. So these are just the facts, by the way. Now, when we entered the 73 area and the market was on fire and the high majority of people were looking at $100,000, we knew better. We knew to look at the facts and the charts. And what we said over a month ago when we were sitting pretty above 73,000, this is what we had to say roll the clip attention cryptocurrency investors and traders there is a major correction coming to the crypto space that will take the world by storm and surprise most but it's going to present one of the best buying opportunities of this bull run if you've missed out so far so in that clip we clearly illustrated like, look, we're far overextended. Yes, we're above 73,000, but a correction is coming. Something big is coming. Pay attention to the facts. Since then, it's very clear to say Bitcoin has had a lot of trouble. This is not my opinion. This is just the facts. We haven't gotten back to that $73,000 level since. It's been over a month since that time. We have not gotten back to that level. In fact, what we've had since then, if you just look at the candles that are in front of you, is indecision. We've had a lot of indecision with a lot of volatility. If we look at this candle, and by the way, these are our two week candles, right? Each candle represents two weeks. In other words, when you look at the first one, big indecisions, there's a tug of war, and there's a big wick to the upside, and even longer wick to the downside, which tells you that the bulls were slightly in control because there was a longer wick to the downside, so more pressure to the upside. The next candle was a bigger body green candle, which still spells indecision, it still spells a tug of war, and it still spells that the bulls were slightly in control, also because of a green candle, and a, big, a little bit bigger of a wick to the downside. And now we're in this candle right here, which hasn't printed yet, still has about a week, but still the same. There's still more indecision, but still there's some buying pressure coming in and protection at that $60,000 level. These are just the facts that the candles are saying, right? But as we reach that $73,000 level, we were incredibly overextended. The market needed to cool off and we have yet to revisit those areas. And this leads us to what we said later in that video. There were two distinct things we were looking for to identify a 
a broader correction that could come into the market. Keep in mind, at the time we made this video, it was definitely not a popular thing to say that we were going to have a correction. It was frowned upon, uh, they threw stones at us, but again, the market speaks volumes with facts not what we hope is going to happen. So when we were there, above 73,000, made that video about a correction coming, we had two rules to follow, and these are the rules. Roll the clip. How do we know when this thing starts to turn? Two ways. Number one, the stochastic RSI. We have a small cross down. Once we have a small cross down that tells us, hey, you know, pump the brakes a little bit. Each cross down here, 30, 40% correction, 30, 40%, 30, 40%, 30, 40% happened multiple times through this. The other one is when you look at our special indicator and that starts to turn its head. As soon as we started to turn ahead here, boom, major correction. As soon as we started to turn our head and head down, major correction correction. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. It was short-lived up here at the top, but as soon as we take this indicator and start to turn our head, that is when the correction will happen, and that correction is going to have an incredible opportunity. So rule number one, we were looking for a curvature of this indicator, my favorite indicator known to man. Why? Because when we entered this zone before, what we noticed is that when we entered it and started to have some curvature to the downside, it sped up our momentum, our momentum to the downside followed, and the rest was history. Every single time we entered this, if you look for that curvature, that switch of momentum to the downside, that is when the downfall in Bitcoin started to happen. So look no further than our momentum heading to the downside. It started to curve in the middle of March and started to pick up steam more recently. That was rule number one, but we had two rules. The second rule was very simple. Go to the monthly chart, put on the stochastic RSI, look for a cross down of the stochastic RSI. Now keep in mind, we've had many cross downs of the stochastic RSI right in front of our face, and every single time it led to a big red candle in that following month. Case in point, we had this cross down back here in March, the next candle after March is April. We're in it right now. In other words, we had a cross down and we were expecting a big red candle in the month of April. What have we gotten so far? A big red candle in the month of April. But things are not over because if you look at it, we had seven green monthly candles in a row. Bitcoin has only done that one other time. And that was back here. Well, two other times. And it, both of them were at the beginning. In other words, they were both 12 years ago. Bitcoin hasn't done that since. We've never had seven green candles in a row at any of this stage of this cycle or any stage of this cycle or any stage of our most recent cycle outside of what we just did. So it's safe to say Bitcoin was very overextended and we were looking for two things and two things only. Rule number one, already got it. Rule number two, we got it. What we see here, when we have a cross down, look no further than here. Cross down, big red candle followed. Look for no further than here. We had a cross down, big red candle followed. How about here? We had a cross down here back in February 17th. The next candle, big red candle. We had a cross down here, August 17th. What followed? A big red candle. Then we had a cross down here, December 17th. What followed? The next candle, a big red candle. What we notice about these cross downs is it wasn't a multitude of red candles afterwards. It was a big red candle and then continue the trend. You can see it play out in front of you with every single cross that we just identified. It wasn't like five, six red candles in a row, like a bear market. It was one, you know, maybe two at most, which we see here, and then a continuation of the trend. But it wasn't these huge, enormous downfalls, okay? So we do have that on our side. That is a bona fide fact that's in front of our eyes right now. But we've got to go back to the star of the show in this hybrid indicator. By the way, this is a private indicator. This is my custom indicator. This is based on my trading strategy, combining the three most powerful indicators to trade in and out of Bitcoin. I combine them into one and this is the star of the show. We had some curvature and we have a cross down. So it leads us to the million dollar question. Does Bitcoin have further downside to its possibility? Meaning we've already had that 15 to 20% correction. We had it twice. We retest that $60,000 level 
twice. You can see it in the candles, especially on the two week chart here, where we literally tested twice, right? About a month apart, okay? Now, what's cool is this $60,000 level, when you look left, all the facts are in the charts. When you look left, that's the market structure of our first top. If you look at our first top and when the bodies started coming into the structure as resistance, that same structure is what is our support now with these two candles. That's good news, right? We're, we're respecting our market structure and we're doing it in a very positive way so far. And also what's a benefit to Bitcoin is both times that we retested the $60,000 level, they were bought up heavy. There was a lot of people that came in, hence this wick. Whenever you see a wick to the downside here, that tells you that buyers came in in momentum, they pushed it back to the upside, meaning that the bulls started to regain control, even though we dipped in prices and the bears were like, here it is, this is the moment. And the bulls were like, well, we're buying this up. We're going to buy it in heavy volume and push the price back up. And that's what they did. That's why we have closing prices around where we do, but we had the lows around where we do. So when you break it down and you say, okay, what other confluence do we have in the market? Look no further than the weekly chart. We had the weekly stochastic RSI cross down. That's quite literally momentum to the downside. And at the same time, we had a hanging man print last week, followed that up with a confirmation of the hanging man, albeit not a strong one. Keep in mind, if we had no wick here, which we illustrated in our prior video, then it would be even stronger move to the downside. Luckily for Bitcoin, we did confirm a hanging man. We did confirm a bearish move to the downside that's coming, sort of a trend reversal. However, it's not a strong one given the fact that this wick is here. It's very likely that Bitcoin is having trouble at this area, but will it continue? We have to look for confluence in the market for continuation. If Bitcoin remains bearish in its weekly stochastic RSI, that momentum will carry through. One thing we pointed out in our previous video is while Bitcoin is bottoming out, on our momentum, watch the action to the downside. Usually the biggest action to the downside in terms of price falling happens at the bottom of this curvature before we have a cross back up. We have yet to reach that yet, meaning we still could have further downside coming because we have momentum, because we have this hanging man confirmed, and because we have my favorite indicator ever with curvature, and we're still in the month of April, and April is supposed to print a big red candle. So far, we have a big red candle, but the month hasn't closed yet. So what we see in front of us, based on all of the facts, is it's more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin. We protected that $60,000 level, but how long is that going to last? And the facts remain in the charts, right? Every time that we had curvature right here in my favorite indicator, we had at least a 30% correction. And what we did typically is we came down to our blue line, this moving average that's right here, right? If we look at it and we say, okay, this moving average, you wanna look at the settings of it, they are right here in terms of our input. What we've noticed is that every time Bitcoin enters this top area here and we have this huge correction, we always have this huge correction down to our blue line. Case in point right here, 2013, first time we entered this yellow zone, big correction. Big correction where? Down to our blue line. How about here? We had this one, 2017, big correction here, down to where? Down to our blue line. How about here? Big correction, down to where? Down to our blue line. And then this one actually represented the COVID crash and we broke through it, representing an A, B, C correction. But every single time so far, we've gotten to our blue line. So where's our blue line right now? Our blue line is hanging out around 50. Does this mean we go down to 50 right now or tomorrow? No, these moves are slower. Keep in mind, Bitcoin started showing signs of instability back at 73,000 and that was over a month ago. One month later, we're still showing instability. We're still showing the bulls and the bears struggling to gain control and we see sideways action as a result. Bitcoin has had a 15 to 20% correction two times, which again, it's a great time to buy when you see that. If you want the strategy, 
here it is. This is one that I put in many videos so far. I'll give it to you again for free. The step number one is, is identify how much extra money you want to invest in Bitcoin. Maybe that's $50, $100, $1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million. It doesn't matter. The math is the same every time. And this is step two. If the market corrects 15 to 20%, you take 20% of that free money and invest. That's why these areas were bought up and smart money entered. Literally everyone who follows my video got that strategy and a lot of you bought up at 60 or 61,000 because that's what the strategy I gave to you said to do. This is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor, but I'm out here trying to change lives, plain and simple. So that's what the market said to do and that's what happened. By the way, a lot of you want simple buy and sell alerts. Steve, please give me just a buy and sell alert. Tell me exactly what to do in a simple way. And I would love it if it came right to my phone, a simple buy and sell alert right to my phone. So I created exactly that. I created my indicator bundle, which has minted a lot of millionaires. And I have a huge announcement next week. April 24th, we're gonna have the largest ever discount on my indicator bundle. So you can get buy and sell alerts right to your phone in a simple and clean way. This eliminates all the guesswork. It, it has minted a lot of millionaires. It's changed a lot of lives and we're just gonna give back. We're gonna put it at its lowest price ever and show some love to you so that you can sign up. Next week, April 24th, Stay tuned, watch your email, huge special deal coming, buy and sell alerts right to your phone. This bull run is our road to half a million subscribers, but I need your help. Today, tell one person about our YouTube channel, how we spit facts, go against the herd, take no paid sponsorships of any kind. Road to half a milli, let's go.